great talk, thank you. Um, so it's my pleasure to introduce next speaker. Um, next speaker is Christian Assaint. Uh, he is a student at uh, uh, the University of Rome, of Rome um, in Sapienza, and is going to um, give us a talk about also finding uh, prompts in debug information, right? Thank you for the introduction. So good afternoon to everyone. I'm Christina Sayante. I'm a PhD student at Sabienza University of Rome. And this is where did my verbal go? Poking goals in incomplete debug information. In this presentation, I'm going to introduce to you a practical and effective approach for finding completeness bugs in optimizing compiler tool chains. So let's start. So source level debugging is a key element in the software development process. It can be extremely useful in finding and fixing bugs especially when production software crashes unexpectedly. Unfortunately, production software is highly optimized for performance reasons, but the code transformation supplied by the compilers when optimizing may completely alter the original code structure, making re uh, really difficult to, to map source level elements like variables to binary level, uh, binary level elements like registers or memory, thus having a really bad impact over software debuggability. For instance, simplify, simplifying expressions, like in this example, where all the temporary variables used in the computation are leg legitimately optimized out by the compilers, introduces the problem of incompleteness in debug information. With incomplete debug information, we refer to instances of debug information that cause the debugger to present to the user only a partial view of the whole program state. And in this work, we focus our attention on the availability of source level variables values. About this, we say that optimization may legitimately optimize out some variables, but is incomplete debug information always legit? The answer is no. It may happen that due, some, due to some compiler implementation defects, the information loss may the information loss may affect program points where the preservation should, be, should instead be guaranteed. And we refer to this uh, situation as a completeness bug. Um, currently, there is no practical approach for uh, an automated, so there is no practical and automated solutions for finding such bugs in compiler, in optimizing compiler to chains. There have been uh, some works that provided solutions for a sibling problem, which is the correctness. But as we will see, we have some more obstacles to overcome. We started by conducting some preliminary studies to evaluate the incompleteness of debug information in the most commonly used compiler tool chains. We defined these two metrics, the availability of variables, which is the percentage of variables that are available when debugging an optimized program compared to its unoptimized counterpart, and the line coverage, which is the percentage of lines that can be stepped when debugging an optimized program, again, compared to its unoptimized counterpart. We compute dynamically these metrics and we define their product as a good estimator of the incompleteness. From the results of our preliminary studies conducted over multiple versions of the compilers, in this case of Clang, we can clearly see how the more aggressive optimizations that are applied at higher optimization levels like O2 and O3 affect much more the completeness of debug information rather than in the debugger friendly optimization level OG. Moreover, the overall increasing trend uh, is a tangible proof of the effort put by compiler developers in improving the generation and preservation of debug, inf of the debug information, so improving the debug experience. But beside their knowledge during the passes development, the developers have no automated way to test whether um, the gap between these optimization levels is legitimately caused by the transformations or it is caused by implementation defects. So the question that we want to answer with this work is, how can we distinguish unavoidable effects of optimizations from compiler implementation defects? Differently from the correctness problem where unoptimized instances of the, of the program can be used as correctness oracle, we cannot do the same because due to the optimizations, highly changing the code structure, uh, we, have no, uh, we are no guarantees about uh, the mapping between the optimized and the unoptimized version. So in general, we say that an unoptimized programs cannot be used as ground truth for, for finding completeness bugs. So our solution is designing conjectures based on the expected availability of variables values. And such conjectures 
can be drawn from experience in compiler construction or from pr practical observations. The first conjecture is based on the availability of call arguments. It states that upon an optimizable function call, uh, all the variables that are passed as argument to the, to, the, uh, to the call should be visible when debugging. To make it clear, let's consider this example from a bug confirmed in the client compiler. We have that at line six, there is a call to a function which is defined in an external module, therefore cannot be optimized, for instance, by inlining. But when stepping on it, we have that the variable v2, which is previously declared and initialized, is not available during the bugging, causing a violation of the conjecture. The second conjecture is based on the availability of constituents of an expression. And it states that when we have an unoptimizable expression, all the variables involved to it should be visible. In this ex example, again, from a bug confirmed in the clan compiler, we have that at line nine and line 11, the loop induction variable i is not available, is used to access a global array, but it is not available when stepping on these lines. So we cannot know the index at, we, at which we are accessing the array during the bugging. And this violates again our conjecture. The last conjecture is based on the decaying visibility of a variable. And it says that a variable visibility should not be intermittent during the debugging, during its life cycle, unless a reassignment occurs. In this example from a bar confirmed, and in this, in this case in GCC, we have that variable v1, which is firstly assigned at line four, it's not visible when stepping on line seven, but it becomes later, vis uh, later visible when stepping on line nine. And this violates our conjecture. To test our methodology, we developed a pipeline for finding and analyzing completeness bugs in an automated fashion. And it is made of the following step. First, we perform a test case generation phase using the compiler Fazer Sysmit. Then we check the conjectures within the debuggers, testing the test cases, compiled at all, uh, all different uh, set of optimization levels. After this process, we, we end up with a bunch of violations and we want to remove all the duplicate violations so that we don't end up reporting duplicate bugs. And to do so, we perform a step of culprit optimization pass discovery uh, using compiler bisection tools. Once we have removed duplicates, we perform test case, test case reduction using Cirrus, paying attention at preserving the optimization path that introduces the bug discovered previously. Once we have done the reduction, we are ready to report the bug to the according bug, uh, bug reporting platform. We have loaded our approach using 1,000 test cases uh, generated with Sysmit, compiled at different optimization levels. After the conjecture checking phase, we ended up with over 1,000 violations in the LLVM compiler tool chain and over 600 violations between G in um, GCC GDB tool chains. And after triaging the, tri uh, tri the violations, we end up with 38 reported, reported issues, and 24 have been confirmed by now, and two have been fixed in GCC. Among those not confirmed, either the developers still haven't analyzed them or they need further analysis, uh, further analysis to be able to be sure about uh, the quality of the, of the report. The 35 compiler related issues can be categorized based on the cause at dwarf level, so at the debug information level. In particular, this can be done by looking at the debug information entry of the variable involved in the issues. We were able to distinguish four categories. The first category is missing die, where basically we have the bug symbols where the debug information entry for that variable is not present at all. Then we have hello die, where we have a debug information entry in the debug symbols, but that debug information entry do not have a location information for the variable. So the debugger is not able to go and find its value. Then we have incomplete die, when basically we have a debug information entry, we have violation, but the, the, we have a location, sorry, but the location does not cover all the instructions that are mapped to the source lines where the variable should be visible. The last category that we were able to distinguish is inc incorrect die, where basically we have some informed debug information entry. So we have an, in an incorrectness in the debug information entry that cause that the reflects during the bugging in a correctness bug. Thanks to the two bugs fixed by GCC developers, we were able to conduct a regression study. 
we have compared the availability of variables pre and post the patch uh, between the affected optimization level, which was uh, O1, and the debugger-friendly optimization level, or G. And we can see how, thanks to these fixes, we were able to help in bridging uh, almost, the gap, almost half of the gap between these two optimization levels. In conclusions, we have designed a conjecture-based approach to find completeness bugs in optimizing compilers to chains, and we provide and we proved how these are a common problem among those. Our reports have brought to the developers' attention uh, many implementation defects in optimization passes and lack of, ex of expressivity, both at the intermediate representation level and uh, in dwarf level, making some of the bug extremely difficult, um, if not impossible, in the current state to fix. The evaluation has proved the effectiveness of the, of the methodology in capturing information loss, the bug information loss, but there are further ways of improvements. First, we can try building more conjecture, for instance, based on the availability of different source level elements, like for instance, source lines, leveraging some knowledge from programming language. Another way of improvements could be testing the conjectures against multiple architecture. And this can be done using um, fast emulators and could potentially capture completeness bugs, so the bug information loss in compilers backends. Thank you for your attention. The source code is available on GitHub, and I will be glad to answer any of your questions.